So this is my Sony a7 II. This is a camera that came out in September or November of 2015. So we are pushing five year. This is a five year old camera. Um, and what I wanna do is I wanna talk about why I still use it today in 2020. And I also wanna talk about why I think that this is a great option for anyone who is wanting to enter the full frame market today in 2020. I think everyone needs a backup camera. I'm recording this video on my Sony a7 III right now. And this is my workhorse. This is the camera that I use to record all of my videos. Uh, I recorded a wedding on it. I record all of my YouTube videos on it. Um, this is the camera that I use for paid shoots. A lot of times when I am wanting to record some shoots and make photos at the same time, I am using my Sony a7 III to record the video and I am using my a7 II to make photos because I trust this camera to provide a great image. If someone were to ask me um, what I thought a good starter camera was for someone wanting to get into the full frame market, um, I would 100% recommend this Sony a7 II. And here are the reasons why. First reason is because of third party lens makers. Um, the first one that comes to mind is Tamron. Tamron just released an amazing trinity of lenses uh, with the 17 to 28, with the 28 to 75, and the 70 to 180, all 2.8 zooms. And the first two come in at $900, and the last one comes in at $1,100. Now, when you compare the prices of those lenses to the prices of Sony's top of the line zooms, the G Masters, uh, the 16 to um, 35 G Master and the uh, 24 to 70 G Master and the 70 to 200 G Masters. Those lenses are all $2,000 and above. So you can get the, all three of the Tamron zooms for the price of one 70 to 200 G Master. That's a steal. Um, also, Sigma has uh, made their signature art series lenses uh, for the e-mount and also Rokinon has come in with uh, three signature primes at 1.4 and all uh, those lenses come in at a 35, a 50, and an 85 at 1.4 and all of those lenses are $650 and cheaper. Now when you factor in those great prices for those lenses, you're looking at a fraction of the price and pair that with the price of a used a7 II and you're looking at about $1,200 between the body and Rokinon lenses, you're looking at about $1,700 for Sigma lenses. You just, you save a ton of money um, entering in with this camera at its price point than you will with some of the competitors. And the camera that I would mostly compare to the a7 II right now is the Canon RP. That camera body comes in at $1,100 for the body alone. But the pr problem with that, you have to spend the money for the RF lenses, and those lenses are really, really expensive. The 50 alone comes in at $2,300. And so that's where I think this camera and the Sony uh, system as a whole comes in, becomes very attractive just because of those third party lenses. Um, the second reason that I think that this is a great entry level full frame camera is because this sensor still holds up uh, in 2020 to some of the sensors that have come out since. This is still a 24.3 megapixel camera. Uh, you can still shoot full HD video. You can shoot 60 frames per second in slow motion. Of course, you're not gonna get some of the bells and whistles that the Sony a7 III or the Canon RP has. You're not gonna get that eye autofocus. You're not gonna be able to shoot in 4K. You're not gonna get 120 frames per second. But for someone who is just starting off, I think that all of those things are not important anyway. And also, I think that the image that this produces will stand up just as well in 2020 that it did in 2015, especially against some of the competition. Uh, just for the sake of image, let's jump over to this camera right now. 
All right, so here is the image from the uh, A7 II. Um, you are looking at the image from a five-year-old 24.3 megapixel sensor. Um, again, you can shoot full HD video on this. You can shoot uh, slow-mo at 60 frames per second. If you want me to talk about the setup for a minute, again, it's the A7 II. It is the 16 to 35 G Master, and I am recording audio with the uh, Rode Video Mic Go. Can I just say for a second that the Rode names are just as confusing as the Sony names? So when you guys are making fun of the Sony names, let's make sure that we give uh, Rode some some of that slack too. Also, I should say that I don't record a lot of video on this camera because I do have my a7 III, but when I'm in a pinch or when I'm out and I don't have my a7 III because I do carry this a7 II around daily when I don't have planned shoots, I can feel confident that if I needed to record some video that I can do it on this uh, a7 II. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about this image so there's a sample of the video footage that you can get from this camera. I don't use this camera a ton for video. Like I said, this is only, I would only use this video in a pinch if I needed to record some video while I'm out and I didn't have my a7 III. But also the photo image that you get from this camera, but also the photo image that you get from this camera is still amazing. And because 80% of the images that people are making uh, is probably going on social media anyway, you know, Instagram, uh, YouTube for thumbnails, um, websites, um, this image still stands up today. And then the third reason that I think that this is a great entry level camera it's just because of the price, the price of it all. Again, you can get this for $650. And mine actually, I got it for $900 brand new. And with all of the third party lenses um, that are out there, it makes this really, really attractive. So to wrap this up, if you are, if someone were to ask me my advice on what to get someone who is looking to enter the full frame market in 2020 as a beginner, as a hobbyist, I would have no problem referring them to the A7 II just because you get everything you need with this sensor, with this camera, with a nice piece of glass. Any photographer will tell you um, that you marry the glass and you date the body. And so for someone entering into full frame, I think you go out, you get yourself a nice piece of glass from one of those third party makers. You get yourself a used A7 II and then you are 80% of the way to where you need to be. So that's it. Um, thank you again for watching this video. Um, if you like this video, think about giving me a thumbs up. Think about hitting that subscribe button. I'm really trying to grow this channel and this time of self-isolation. I hope that you guys are staying safe. I hope that you are staying inside and I hope that you are washing your hands. Thank you so much. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.